Every every is so scary. Every 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 so so scary. Hello there, people of the internet. Two days in a row, I'm starting the vlog. It is Saturday, 10:30 a.m. Rev and I have been up for the last two hours, haven't we, Rev? Tim and Tammy are coming over this morning just to hang out for a little bit. Airy here just woke up, didn't ya? And you have a full diaper and daddy changed you. Huh, and now you're a heavy camper, aren't ya? Look at you. You are so cute. Rev is just getting some snackage going. Um, today we have planned, we are going to um, a friend of ours is getting married later this year and they're having just like a get together um, at his parents house and he and his fiance uh, both live in Tennessee so they're back here I think this will probably be the last time they're back here before the wedding so they're just having like a get together so we're gonna go hang out uh, say hi to them I, I don't think we've seen him since our wedding so it's been like three years that's a long time you know when people go to school and people get married and you you don't see people that much. So we're gonna go see him, say hi, meet his fiance. It'll be fun and then this evening, I think we might be going out to dinner for my sister-in-law Katie's birthday? But I'm not sure. Uh, we haven't got final confirmation on that yet. So it's still up in the air, but if not, we'll probably end up going to mom and dad's. I'm thinking. I don't know for sure, that's just my guess. We got another dog, guys. We got three dogs now. I'm just kidding. My parents are here with our family dog, Mr. Mac. Did I forget to tell you that Mac's staying? No, he's not. Yeah. No, you're hilarious. Yeah. And Welcome Pat allows Mac. Home. <laughs> so Welcome to your new home, I don't need Mac. Mac. <laughs> he has so much energy for being like 10 years old or 11. Oh my goodness. 15. What? He's 15. 15? And Nana brought Revel in this cool picture book. We put pictures in it. Can you flip the page? Flip it. It's got pictures of Rev. I'm at Target getting Ian and Anna something for their engagement party. They're getting married down in Nashville, so we're not 100% sure we're going to be able to get there. So Ryan pulled up the registry. Turns out they want settlers, and you guys know how much we love settlers, so we're going to get them settlers. <laughs> Present purchase was successful. We've gotten them a card, too. Now Ryan should be back because we left the wrapping things that we needed for this at home. So we went and got that, so he's now back and he's gonna come get me. Well, we went to Ian's engagement party, Ian and Anna's engagement party, and now we're going out to dinner for Katie, our sister-in-law, Ryan's brother's wife, um, for her birthday. I believe that's a celebration night. So yep. we're going to Longhorn Steakhouse. Um, but the engagement party went really well, and then also we got, we'll show you guys later, probably tomorrow or something. Um, I never thought I'd get like one of those train play tables, because it takes a lot of space, and you guys know how I feel about like having a ton of toys. But this thing was 25 bucks, and it came with all the tracks. The table alone usually sells for like 100, 200, sometimes 300 dollars, depending on the table. And so I'm like, at most, if I decide it takes up too much room or Rev doesn't leave, even like playing with it or it's just too much, then we can sell it and we'll easily make money on it. So it was like a, I guess we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, but we'll show you it. It's in pretty good condition. There's some of the tracks that have like glue on them because they tried to like glue them together to keep them in place. Because you know, sometimes tracks are really hard to figure out how to put them together. Um, and so some of those I'm not gonna use because like some of them came apart and then they like broke in pieces. But there's still a lot of tracks left. Anyways, the only thing it didn't come with is trains. So we have to get trains. But Rev was playing with it without trains too. <laughs> you don't need trains. So it is Sunday morning and we really didn't do anything last night. But I wanted to show you this. We're getting ready to go to church and Rev is just keeps playing under her crib. Don't ya? Are you having fun down there? Are you okay? Are you ready to go? Oh, watch your head. Can you grab your pillow from under there? We gotta get going. Oh, there it is, yeah. Don't forget your blankie. Oh, you had everything down there. 
Grab hoot too. Well, we just got out of church, guys, and we actually made it. We were late, but we didn't miss the, the service. This actual service. Like, we just missed the music. So, we made it. Rev did so good. She actually told them that she needed to go to the bathroom in the nursery, and so they paged me, and then I was able to come and take her, and she waited, and she went on the potty, and then she we went back to the nursery. So, she did really good. I was super proud of her because the one time she's been babysat by... The grandparents, she had a couple accidents, um, which was kind of to be expected. Like, I didn't expect her to be perfect her first time with somebody else, but she's doing really great. So, that was a win. Um, and now we're off to Ryan's parents. His mom is not home, but his dad is home. Um, and so, we are going to go celebrate, pretty much do 4th of July festivities today. We have friends, um, like in our leadership business and stuff, that are going to be coming over there this evening, and then we're going to do fire because for Ravelin, you're okay. Can you say hi? For whatever reason, they don't do fireworks on 4th of July anymore. It's always like the day before. Go, go! Down! Go, go! Down! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down over you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We have been at Ryan's parents for quite a while. We had lunch. Um, we've been playing, well we played a game of Settlers and now we're playing Splendor. And I don't know, Ryan, did you show them the girls' outfits today? Nope. Well, she, little Miss Early here, is wearing, what is this, a crab? Her little crab outfit, so she's wearing red, white, and blue. And Miss Revelyn, hey Rev, come here, can you show me your outfit? Can you stand up? Spin around? She's wearing these little bottoms, and her bottoms have red, white, and blue. You're, you're cute. Oh, thank you for your hugs. Thank you. Woo! Hey, Rob. Oh, Rob. Oh, <laughs> is that fun? Can I have we can't match. Yeah. <laughs> Are you wearing Danny's glasses? Hi, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Hi. You're so cute. <laughs> Again? <Yeah>. Again? <laughs> she said, yeah, go. <laughs> you ready? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold still. You ready? Yeah. Oh, she's too straight to do One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three. Whoa. Was that fun? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> you want to do it again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you ready? Pay attention. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe later. <laughs> Hi, Rev. Are you having fun? Is that a chip? Yeah. Do you like that chair? You want more chips? Here you go, Rev. Is that a chip? Mm. Well, it's dark and we're not seeing fireworks because we had to end up going home. The fireworks were just starting as we were leaving, but Airly, even though she is quiet now, um, she would just not, she needed sleep and she has not slept today really very well at all. All part of having kids though, you have to adjust to Make sure that they stay happy. I'm glad that she's at least sleeping on the way home and not screaming and crying mm -hmm. on the way home. <laughs> yes, definitely. She was like fine if you would sit there and rock her. Like you couldn't just like rock her back and forth in, in her swing. car seat. You had to swing her, which obviously is very hard on the back. And I'm having like a ton of back pain today. I don't know why. So like I couldn't do it at all. Ryan was doing it. Our friend Kayla was trying to do it, and it was, <laughs> it wasn't feasible. <laughs> and like I said, she needs to eat, and she won't eat. And so I think she'll finally eat when we go home, and it's just less stimulation, which. That she is, we always said she was very opposite of Rev, but the older she's got, she's gotten a lot more like Rev. And Rev was very much like this as a baby where overstimulation just freaked her out and she like couldn't function. So, that's a bummer. But, happy kids is key here, so we're going home. So we just got home, we hear fireworks all over the place, but we can't oh, see them. Do you see them, Rev? Do you see them through the trees? Yeah, do you see those? Big. Yeah, fireworks.
If you guys are ever curious about how the doggies feel about fireworks, Daisy could care less. And Levi, Levi hates, hates them. them. He could care less about thunder, but fireworks he gets super stressed out about. He just pants a lot. <laughs> um, and we've worked through trying to get him to be okay with them for years, and it's just, nope. I don't know, I understand like why he's fine with thunder. Like, he doesn't care at all. But fireworks, forget it. <laughs> but yeah, Daisy doesn't care. So it is that time to end the vlog. Both the girls are asleep, much needed sleep. <laughs> and we are just gonna call it a night. But Ryan is gonna be home tomorrow, so Tuesday's vlog will be Ryan home all day with us too. Yes, thankfully, because I wanna get good sleep tonight. <laughs> and sleep in tomorrow. Hopefully Rev will sleep in a little, bit, a little bit longer. Yeah. Since she was up late today. You look tired. I am tired. I'm sorry. The question of the day was, are you gonna go see fireworks? Uh, and, we were going to, yeah. and that's We were gonna, but our kitties had opposite plans for mm -hmm. us. Well, one yes, child. Yes, one child did. Rev actually did really good for being up past her bedtime. Yeah. So for today's question of the day in honor of Independence Day is going to be, what freedom are you most thankful for? So everyone should be able to answer this. What freedom are you most thankful for that you have access to in your country? Um, and let us know in the comments down below. And those of you in the U.S., make it a little history lesson. Ryan would like you to read up on some of uh, the documents that gave us the Independence Day. So, mm -hmm. yes, that's his favorite he's asking of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be today's question of the day we hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog sorry there wasn't i don't i actually cannot even remember yesterday what did we do yesterday Ooh, not much i can't remember if we filmed much of the dogs guys i don't i feel like we really didn't film that much the last two days we filmed so much on so. friday that and yesterday and today we were just like nope not picking up the camera <laughs> Well, I mean, wasn't there wasn't purposeful. a ton of interesting stuff going on. Yeah, we just hung out. We did so, we got so many things done Friday that just Saturday and Sunday we were pooped. Hope you enjoyed this vlog, however sketchy and weird it is. Um, <laughs> we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, we will see your wonderful faces tomorrow. Bye, guys.